I'm really into bags. I've got a lot of hobbies, and most of them require me to lug equipment about, so a good bag is a must. Over the years I've spent a small fortune trying to get the perfect bag for every occasion, an almost impossible task. When Devoom offered to send me their Pixu sling bag, I jumped at the chance. It's a cool looking bag in general, but the LED matrix is what really sets it apart. It's essentially the same display as the Ditu speaker that I reviewed a few months ago. So if you want to know what it can do, hit the thing up there. It's got more features than you can shake a salsa shark at. It doesn't have a speaker, so you lose the audio functions, but otherwise it's essentially the same. Controlled by the same smartphone app, with access to the same boatload of community created content that can run on the display. The display is reasonably bright and can be seen in the daylight, but the effect is of course most impressive at night. The display shines through the outer fabric and gives it a nice diffusing effect. In the outer pocket there's a USB type A connector that you plug into a power bank to turn it on. I like this as there's no inbuilt battery to worry about and most people these days have at least one power bank kicking about that they can use. What's really interesting to me is that Devoom could have easily just slapped an LED matrix in any old bag and probably sold a lot. I mean, if you want gifts flashing on your bag, you don't have a whole lot of options. But instead, Devoom took the time to design what I think is a really great sling bag with some unique touches that give it some flair. The most prominent thing is this super interesting lashing mechanism on the strap. I've never seen anything like this. It's magnetic and is easy to unbuckle with one hand, but feels very secure when it's clicked into place. I don't know how its strength or durability compares to a regular buckle, but it's very cool and quirky, which suits the Devoom brand to a T. The bag has three main compartments. The outermost, which I mentioned before, is a long, slim pouch housing the USB connector. The middle compartment is the largest, with a zippered mesh pouch quick release key attachment, and two smaller side pockets. On the rear there's a half height zippered pouch and a lovely rubber carry handle. On the base there's two cinch straps with quality feeling metal clasps that can be unhooked. There's also this kind of gap area behind the front compartment with some elastic straps. I don't know what the intended use is, but you could slide a tripod or a hoodie through here. I think the cinch straps are probably a safer option. I like sling bags a lot. They're perfect for when you don't need a ton of gear, but have to carry more than you could comfortably fit in your pockets. For example, maybe you're going out skating. You need your tea tool, some wax, a bottle of water, earbuds, GoPro, house keys. A backpack is overkill, but a sling bag will get the job done nicely, with the added benefit of letting your pits breathe. Any old sling would fit the bill for that scenario. So who is the Pixie Sling for? If you're cycling, skating, or whatever else in the road at night, the LED matrix will make sure you're seen. So there's a bit of a safety angle. Devoom have thought about this, and even make a handlebar accessory to allow you to display turn signals on the bag. Unfortunately, this only really works when the bag is worn like a bum bag, or fanny pack for you yanks, as the turn signals will be displayed off axis when worn like a sling. I'd like to see off-axis turn signals added into the app. It'd be easy to implement, and so long as you wear it over the correct shoulder it should work well. You can control all these signals from in the app, so if you've got a handlebar mount for your phone, you don't really need the remote. Just a quick recommendation, I've been using these Gub phone mounts for years and they're fantastic. They go for less than a tenner on Amazon, and are solid as a rock. I've even hit jumps on my mountain bike, and my phone hasn't moved a millimetre. I'll link them down below. Right, so where else would you use this bag? I think the main thing is going to be events, festivals, nights out, anywhere where you want to stand out. I guess it's like tech peacocking, but you're going to draw a fair amount of attention if you're flashing funky images on your bag. Maybe you want to promote your business, YouTube channel, hashtag or whatever. You can have it scrolling across your bag all day and I guarantee someone is going to ask you about it. For the festival scenario in particular, I have tested and you can fit about four beer cans in here, in case you're wondering. Last but not least, I think this would be a great option for point of sale at events. You could flash pay here on the LED matrix and use the sling to carry change and a card reader, that would be pretty neat. 
For me personally, I don't see myself actually using the LED matrix all that often. But it's such a good bag that I'll probably be using it fairly frequently regardless. It fits my GX9 and a spare lens fairly comfortably. And it's just so well put together that I find myself wanting to pick it up and use it. I think Davoom have done a great job designing this bag. It's got a subtle cyberpunk aesthetic with the yellow accents and the futuristic buckle. I really dig it. And then it can be whacked into full on party mode just by plugging in a power bank. At the moment it goes for about 90 US dollars and for a quirky bag that's well built and versatile it gets a thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching, hope you found it useful. Hit subscribe so you don't miss future videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles.